Hi everybody, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today we will play the next LEGO Star Wars. We will try to resist the powers of darkness. We will sail the high seas. We will take some pot shots at some bad guys. We will evolve into a higher level of energy and strategically gather some berries. So let's go! The first game for today, LEGO Star Wars Micro Fighters. This time around, the goal is to shoot your enemies as they come at you from all directions as you casually travel forward and shoot whatever's directly in front of you. This type of game is as old as petrified mammoth poo. For anyone that has ever played a video game before has surely played something like this. What can I tell you specifically about Micro Fighters? Well, it has an entertaining design element, a few different kinds of ships to control, and certainly a lot of things flying and shooting at you. In general, the game didn't bring anything original to the genre and may only be playable by the most die-hard Star Wars fans. The second game is called Dawnkeeper Last Survivors. When the game started, I was sure it was an RPG. There's a map, a plot, an invasion of dark forces, and so on. But after the introduction, the game reveals itself as a tower defense. So your hero stays in the left part of the screen and mobs come from the right side, and you have to shoot them by taps. Sometimes bosses come out, and they are bigger and tougher, and so on. Besides the usual attacks, there is lightning, meteors, and other magic options which are pretty useful in combat. In total, there are three heroes in the game, each with their own story and a map with lots of locations you need to pass. This game is a fine example that you can make something epic from a really simple plot. The third game for today, Warships Online. And it is just like Tanks Online, but with ships. If you've played Tanks Online, then you pretty much already know how this goes. In general, the same system. You move, you aim, you shoot at opponents, repeat. If you ask me, the game just doesn't have enough dynamics. I get it that sailing vessels aren't the fastest and most maneuverable things around, but this is an arcade game instead of a sailing simulator, so come on! Nevertheless, fans of pirates and sailing will likely find the game entertaining enough as is. Next, the game called Energy, the Power of Life. And guess what? It's about energy! Well, a floating glob of positive energy in a negative universe is the hero of this game. Levels are labyrinths with puzzles, power fields, and riddles. To survive, your energy blob has to constantly fill up its energy reserves, solve riddles, and try not to be beaten by the enemy here, which is everything that surrounds you. The game is bright and interesting, and for the most part, worth playing. The next game is Kingdom Chronicles, and it is an addictive strategy game. Go around and collect resources and whatnot through taps and so on. It has quite lovely graphics and even an amusing plot. It doesn't really stand out from other games like it, but it is fun to play at least. The game has a set of locations, each of which has missions and problems of its own. Naturally, the farther you get, the bigger the problems, and in the process, more resources will appear under your control. And our last game for today, Death Defense FPS. And hey, at least it's not about zombies for a change. It is about regular people with weapons. We play a sniper whose mission is to rescue prisoners of war, and naturally, he is the best sniper in the world and can surely do it single-handedly. In the game, there's an amusing system of aiming and sniping the bad guys, and there are a lot of battle scenes. So if you're a fan of looking through a sniper scope and shooting guys, go ahead and download this. You'll probably like it. That's all for today. Follow our channel, put likes on things, and make comments. Join the group while you're at it. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!